Hey there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you for Monday, June the 12th, 2023. And if you see the date and you reduce it to a single number, it comes to the number of balance. And that's what, exactly what a lot of people will feel like wanting and seeking and needing within the hour is balance. There's a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of speculation, questioning, thinking about why this didn't happen or why that didn't happen, right? There's a lot of chatter going on. And if you feel like just out of space, basically, that I don't know what to do or I failed, all those thoughts might start to come up again. All the why can't I have or why did I not achieve this? The why did I not receive this kind of thoughts? They're coming up for a reason to finally be cleared, to help you. Literally, as the card says, if you see the video and the image, it's cleaning your mind. So there are a whole lot of lighthearted angels clearing your mind angels. Literally, that's what they're called. There's no big, big fat name for them. Purposely, they're named that way so you can connect with them easily and go on this negativity diet. You can say you're going on a diet and actually choosing to be optimistic. That's exactly when you should be optimistic, when it's most difficult to be so. So she's taking her hand to a part of her crown. You can do the same for yourself listening to this and ask the butterfly angels of positive thought. Don't think about naming all of that. Just say, Butterfly is a positive thought. Just enter my crown chakra and change my thoughts too. And take a moment. The first negative thought that comes up, immediately change it. And choose to do so throughout this day on purpose. You don't have to always take your hands physically to your crown. But just imagine that the butterfly angels, just by your thinking about it or requesting it on on some level, will come to your aid immediately. And you might say, why is she looking not like an angel but a fairy? Again, that's what is helping you perceive things differently. Are you perceiving things as being more difficult than they are? Or are you wrapped in joy and optimism on purpose? Because she's wrapped herself. She's changed She's choosing to change something by wrapping that golden energy around her. Though it seems like she's not wearing anything. That's you just being available, ready to receive, ready to change. Not worried about this and that and the other. Not speculating and not questioning. You're just there. And if you see her heart, chakra, it's open again like a butterfly. So this butterfly image is coming again and again for this day. Just being lighthearted. If you have to listen to music or watch a movie or just choose to laugh on purpose, something that just makes you laugh, just being silly or going outside, spending time with children, if you have children, see how they approach life. It's so easy for them. Playfulness is something you might have lost over the years. Bring that back. Gratitude. Just saying, I am thank you for. Just because. Even if it's as simple as having breath and being able to listen to this. You can start with that. And then if you see the amount of butterflies around her, they seem to be increasing. They will. Because a reason to complain will lessen. And the reason to be happy will increase and also on purpose choose colors that are optimistic your colors are joy and it's unique to you you don't have to discuss this again with someone else and there's no particular pattern to this or no one gets more points in heaven by choosing the perfect color 
That's also where you might be going wrong. You think there's a definition in heaven for the perfect spiritual soul. You have a spirit that is unique. In the Akashas, you acknowledge for that. You're loved for that just as you are. And keep on reminding yourself of that throughout this day. In fact, use this affirmation that is shared with you here. I affirm today is a new day for me. I'm accepting the angelic way, the angel way. In this moment, I choose to release all anger, hurt, pain, resentment, fear, and distress to my loving angels. And I replace them with love, joy, hope, and peace. And I ask all the heavenly hosts around me to help me clean my mind, my body, and heart of negativity, both within and around me. So let go of that familiar feeling that tells you that this doesn't work for you and that doesn't work for you. You ask the angels to transmute this into light. You no longer need it. It's finally trashed out. So let stress and worry no longer have any place in your life. As said before, as you start to feel yourself worrying, replace it there and then with an affirmation. That's why you've been given this affirmation. And use any instrument of light. A reason to laugh, a reason to be funny, to relax, to feel childlike. The negativity will automatically transform and vanish and change. It's meant to. And that's why it's come also in a way to the surface, the worries and what no longer works for you. So you can finally clear it and clean it and have what works for you and an abundance of it. Ask the angels to fill you with the white light of heaven if nothing else comes to mind and remove all toxins, mental and emotional. What are they doing for you right now? They're just stagnating. They're just sitting there in your spirit, in your soul and not allowing you to enjoy what you could enjoy and be who you could be, the full potential of you, the expression of you, the enjoyment of life as you deserve to have it. And the angels will lovingly guide you on how to do this. It could be giving up maybe some friends who no longer understand you. That doesn't mean you just trash people. It's just changing the nature of relationships and coming forward with the best expression of you and not just putting up with resentment and just keeping it in. What are you doing? You're basically filling your heart with toxins. So I'm not saying that get into fights <laughs> or start to argue for no reason. But at least tell the angels and ask the angels, how do I change the situation around for the betterment of all concern? The stagnation will immediately disappear for all. You're actually doing everyone a favor. Think of it that way. So the angels will lovingly guide you on how to do this. So the next time someone puts you down, you don't have to carry that resentment around anymore. Just release it, change it, transform it, rise above it, and use it for some betterment rather than just sitting there and complaining and holding more, which doesn't work for you because that also causes health concerns. So when you release these spiritual toxins, you end up feeling lighter, happier, and have a greater sense of well-being which will motivate your actions for the better. And your perspective, how you approach life, how you view people, or think about them, will become more loving, more forgiving, and less judgmental automatically. It's part of the process. It's part of the flow, you can say. 
and you will act more automatically out of love rather than out of fear. So what are the angels asking of you? You can say the main motive behind the day or a theme to the day. They're asking you to go on a diet of negativity right here and right now. It's asking you to purge your mind every time something comes up. And as you look at the card again, you can see there's a huge bubble of light behind her, full of a red boundary and blue in the middle. So again, power, positivity, rising to your potential, acknowledging your passions and enjoying them. And not having to explain who you are all the time. Just stand there peacefully. And people will love you for just who you are anyways. Just be you. No fighting is needed. To live up to your potential and express yourself passionately, creatively. Keep on reviewing your spirit this day on a daily basis. And you can also, if you've not done it before, or are having, you can say, a problem keeping up your so-called spiritual discipline, then you can ask the angels how to do that so that residual energies do not build up within you again. And you will have a chance to kind of clear every day all that did not work for you, where you think you failed, complaints, negativity, whatever it is, I now release, simple statement, I now release and help me angels to help me release. Maybe sometimes you do have a problem even releasing. It's very easy to say, I now release, but I don't feel like releasing anything. I don't know what to release. So blessed angels, help me release. And always Call upon Archangel Raphael when you're doing this. R-A-P-H-A-E-L, for those who don't know him. The Archangel of Supreme Healing in every way. He very much is surrounding the planet this day, literally dropping emerald green bubbles of light, rays of light, however you want to absorb this. So go ahead and even have a lot of green in your diet, what you eat today, what you wear today, and you will find a difference. So throw out the old and bring in the new and clean your mind the heavenly way, the angelic way. And the angels, remember, never get tired. And you can call upon them for the smallest of things. Don't think that your problem has to be some great lofty thing or that I'm not a leader and the angels don't care about me. I'm just a common person. And first of all, this word common, take it out of your dictionary. No one is common. Everyone is needed. You're loved just for being who you are. Remember that. Never, ever forget that. With your flaws, yes. Oh, I have so many flaws. I've done so much that's wrong and you measure yourself by how old you are, what you should have done or you think you should have done, all of that, take all of that out. Today, literally burn it away. If you have to, just this emerald green ray of light that just, I throw it into this bubble and I change it. Keep on saying that for yourself and stay positive. And here's another affirmation. See, the affirmations are just coming forward like anything this day. Perhaps they're just needed more on the planet. So that's okay. Let's love one another. So dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me to be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that support my help. And you can even come up Because three is always a good number when you're asking for anything as it brings mind, body, and spirit together. 
You can think about it that way or as a form of balance since you need balance more this day. So three symbols unique to you again that remind you and help you remain calm and stay positive. It could be like something like the emerald green ray of light, a feather duster, the butterflies, a bubble of light. I mean, we can go on and on, right? So have fun doing that and it'll help you smile again. You've never seen an angel who looks sad or depressed, right? That is exactly what they want to remind you, that it is just as easy for you to smile and remain that way. That is why she's taking the butterflies of change into her mind. And if you notice her eyes are closed, you might say, why are her eyes closed? It's just because it's asking you to remain in the moment and remain true to what you're asking for. And don't downplay it. Don't change it. You don't have to edit for anyone. Listen to your heart and go with your heart. And you will not go wrong because it will help you clear and clean your mind. Just remain very, very simple to everything. We overcomplicate things sometimes and analyze things too much. Don't. This day, just purely, really go with the heart. Heart energy is extremely strong today. And it's actually helping to clear your mind. It's going the other way today. It's like your mind wants to absorb and clean. And your heart wants to expand and feel. Enjoy both of these flows of energy. The flow of energy. The flowing of energy. Let's put it that way. And this comes as a graceful blessing from the angels by me, Tina. And the beautiful way that the angels remind us to remain true and lighthearted and playful and happy no matter what comes from the superb art of Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S-U-E M-I double L-E-R-A-R-T dot com and go ahead and also give yourself a beautiful relaxing color of power just one color whatever excites you whatever calls to your heart you can even ask the angels why is that color calling to me today it might not be green That's okay if it's not green, so don't start to question yourself again. It might be red, might be yellow, might be purple. There might be a particular reason that is calling to you. Go ahead and take it and just stand there. Stay positive. And just keep on saying, I'm thankful. Thank you. I choose to. I enjoy. I invite. I am. All these words. So nothing has to be complicated again, as I said. And even affirmations sometimes can become homework that you don't want to complete. So don't. Just listen to it one time, absorb it, and then use the words that come to you throughout the day as just one sentence that appeals to you. After all, you are trying to Become empowered again. Not the other way around, right? (laughs) Not to go further into depression and find another reason to start complaining about yourself and putting yourself down. So enjoy this day. Stay positive. And clean your mind with the help of the angels and all the divine forces surrounding you. And this is Tina signing off for now. And we'll meet again tomorrow. Bye-bye.